And it, oh, oh. Hey guys, welcome back to Bella Boo's Lunches. If you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you are here. Are you getting ready for going back to school or have you already gone back to school? That's my question. Uh, we have actually not started school yet. I don't know when our st start date's going to be, to be completely honest. Um, I have no idea. It's still up in the air for us. Uh, we've done like a lot of practice days. We're homeschooling, by the way, in case you were unaware. We are going to homeschool this year, but we're still going to be packing lunches like I have every year and like I've done all summer long. So if you haven't been with me throughout the summer, then you probably have missed out on some of my updates. But basically, we have decided that homeschooling is going to be best for us. Now, the school thing, it's kind of it's kind of a sticky little situation for a lot of parents right now. I feel like there's a lot of um, parent judgment happening where you may not agree that somebody else is doing something differently than you're doing. And um, let's not have that on my channel, okay? So if you're going back to school, I'm not going to say a thing about it. That's fine. <laughs> Honestly, oh, that was really, did you see that? That was like stringy, like syrupy. Okay, we just need a little bit. I'm just um, basically coloring my entire hands because this is really dirty and I don't know why. Um, oh, they all are. Okay, all right. We'll see what color my hand is by the time we're done. Okay, but basically what I'm saying is over here on Bella Boo's lunches, we are just happy you're here. We don't care how you are having your kids learn this year. It's so hard to make any decision. And I have friends whose kids are going back to school. I have friends who kids are doing the remote learning. I have friends who their kids are... Seriously, I have got to wash those off because this is going to drive me crazy if this is what happens every single time. You know, it's just all across the board. So anyway, what I was saying is we're not going to make you feel less than if you chose a different option than what we chose. And hopefully nobody makes me feel that way too because let me tell you, making the decision to homeschool, that's not an easy decision. I don't know, I feel like we all have just been like super stressed and it's true, like we totally have been. This isn't how I typically do it, is it? Am I doing it how I normally do it? Are we even in focus? Okay, we like a we love a smashed lady. She's totally smashed. A flat girl. She's a little skinny. I'm gonna throw in some carrots down here. Let's make them look cute, should be. Little fatty guy. We got some little strawberries that I can put up here. Maybe a few little blueberries. So anyway, I don't know what I was saying. I lost my train of thought. But basically, if you are here, we are going to just support whatever decision you made. And I want to know, did you decide to send your kids back to school? Or is that not even an option? Are you guys doing remote learning at your school? Oh my gosh, this pineapple is kind of bouncy. There we go. I bought 5,000 pounds of um, animal crackers. <laughs> and so I thought I would give her some. Anyway, my point about all this is we are going to continue to do lunches all year long. I'm going to talk to you while I do my lunches like I always do. Tell you about my struggles and things that we're working on and things that aren't working and things that we've tried and we're going to come at lunchtime and this is going to be still my time to visit with you guys vent if I need to and you guys can vent back at me and we will have conversations in the comments and I love 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 when you guys tell me I feel like I'm talking to my best friend because I feel the same way so 
keep coming back. Please share these lunches with other friends and moms that you know um, are making lunches for their kiddos this year. Even if you're just staying home. I know some places they're still having to be on Zoom calls all day long. So make your kids little cute lunches. Protect their little mental stabilities. <laughs> their little mental... Heads. I don't know what I was going to say. Anyway, here is going to be Bella's lunch. Let's decorate it cute. There's a different view. Do you like this view better? How should I do it? I got a new tripod so I can kind of move it around a little bit. What do you like better? Do you like it over the top? I'll do all my videos this week over the top maybe or maybe I'll switch it up. I have no clue what I'm going to do from day to day so never mind. Um, but tell me which way you prefer the video to be. Did you like it up there how I just did it? Anyway, this is going to be a long lunch. Here's her lunch, a peanut butter sandwich, some animal crackers, some carrots, orange yogurt, orange cream yogurt, some pineapples, and some strawberries and blueberries there in the back. So here's her lunch. We'll see what she eats. All right, Bella, how'd you do? I think I did pretty good. <laughs> you did. Was it good? I really liked the um, yogurt. Like, that was the best part about it. Oh, all right. Good job. Thanks. Hey, guys, are you ready to pack? Lunch number two with me. You're going to think I'm crazy. And honestly, I kind of am. We're starting off with a tortilla. Take some peanut butter. Smear peanut butter all over your tortilla. And then you're going to take about a tablespoon of chocolate chips. This is where I know you're going to think I'm crazy. This, I promise you, this is not a prank video. These, I think, are called like smackos or something. Um, it's supposed to be like a s'more-ish taco, but you add marshmallows to it typically. We're not going to do the marshmallow part. We're just, we're going to switch up the marshmallows for something else. But, go throw this in your microwave for about 15 seconds. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So you have your chocolate chips, your peanut butter, and they will start to kind of melt, and that's what you want. So just start to kind of smooth them over. For some reason, when you do it in the microwave... Even though it looks like it's not melting, it will melt. So take it out. Don't leave it in there any longer than 15, 20 seconds, depending on your microwave. And then you're just going to smooth it all out. This is a huge treat. Like, we typically don't do this very often. Also, she's not a huge fan of chocolate, so it's not you know, something that she requests often. So when she does request it, it's kind of like, oh, okay, I can make those for you. I thought something was going to fall, but it didn't. Okay, so we got that smoothed out, right? Now, oops, can you see it? You add a banana, a whole little banana, just like that. Why'd I say it like that? Banana. I said it weird, right? Anyway, now we're going to roll them up. Remember, the banana's kind of curved, and so you might need to roll it a little bit goofily, and it's fine. Roll up your banana. I wonder if I should have cut it. Nah, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> and there you go. And now you have a banana burrito. Look. <gasps> Doesn't that look so good? So good. I promise your kids are going to love this. They're going to think they're getting like a huge treat. I'm trying to decide on how I should put this into the lunch. See how melty, ooey, gooey it is? So these are delicious just to eat just like this. Where you just want to bite? Oh gosh, they're so good. So you can eat them just like this, or you can slice them up smaller, which sometimes makes it a little bit messier to eat. So I'm thinking about just leaving it like this. We're just going to do one. I just don't think it's that pretty when it's like that. Let's just leave it alone, and we'll come back to it if we're feeling the need to come back to it. But I promise they're so good. I'm going to eat that other half for sure. Okay, so to go along with it, she's going to get cottage cheese. Do we remember when she used to not like cottage cheese? And then she liked it, and then she didn't like it again. And then she liked it. Well, we're still on. She likes it. Did I spill somewhere? I don't know. So we're going to pack her some cottage cheese. Oh my gosh, this is like going to be a good lunch. Of course, we always add a 
ton of dill because dill is so good. We love it. And then I'm going to pack her a little bit of applesauce. We'll throw the applesauce down here. Okay, here's a tip for parents that are sending their kids to school right now. I'm also going to send her some broccoli. Now, one thing with broccoli uh, that we have found that we really like is dipping the broccoli into the cottage cheese like this. Oh, it's so good. Not much is going to fit into this little section, but I guess I could give her a mango. Back to school. Back to school. What's the rest of that song? Something about teaching about the golden rule. What? Is it? I don't know. This is not purple. And I'm putting a purple one in. This one is actually probably considered purple. I should switch on. Too late. It's too late. There we go. That's better. Oh, she's getting the peanut butter, uh, banana, and chocolate chips rolled up in her tortilla. Super simple. Some applesauce. This is mixed berry, I believe. Some cottage cheese with dill weed. I was going to say cactus, and I don't know why. Some mango, and then in the back, she's got some broccoli. So here's her lunch. We'll see what she eats. All right, hey, Bella. Bella. How'd you do? I did. I did. I did pretty good. You did. I did. Did, say so much. did you like those peanut butter banana roll-ups? They, they tasted like kitty chow, but like less crunchy. Oh, like puppy chow? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of the same ingredients. Yeah. All right, good job. Thanks. Today we are making a pizza bagel. So, I have these bagels. We actually picked them up from um, our bagel boy. It's like a, a restaurant. Oopsies. I'm so messy. Okay, so we're just going to go around in a circle. Trying not to make a mess. There's no need to spread this out. You're going to kind of do it when you place down your pepperonis. And put down as many or as little pepperonis as you want. You can see it's starting to kind of squirt out. Take any shredded cheese you have and put a pile on top. That's it. Then you're gonna move them over to a tray. Let me show you. There we go. Okay, so I've just put it onto a tray that I use in my toaster oven. I'm gonna go throw this in there and just let it bake or toast up until the cheese is bubbly and melty. That's it. Okay, so I'm gonna use this blue Ellie box. I put two little silicone liners in there and this little doily. And we're gonna pack her the rest of her lunch while the, the pizza's cooking. You know what I mean? Okay, so I threw some cottage cheese in there, some cantaloupe in here. I put a little doily down. I'm gonna throw down a little bit of uh, dill weed on top of the cottage cheese because that's how she likes it. And let me go grab the uh, pizza. I'm recording this because this could be like an epic fail. Or I could just place it down like I am never a mess. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna add a little bit of basil to the top. Just add some little prettiness. Make us look fancy even though we're not. Okay, so let's add some decorations to her cute little lunch here. Oh my gosh, who knew? This is what I grabbed, and look at I'm already like doing those colors anyways. Oh my gosh, you guys. You would think I've been making lunches for years. <laughs> We're gonna set this little guy in here. Okay, so I know that my lunches, Bella's going to be able to eat them, you know, sitting right at home. But I'm going to keep in mind that your kids might not be doing that. And so my lunches, I'm gonna still make them like I've always made them where they could totally go to school with you. Did I ever go into details about my suggestions on packing lunches? I think I started to and then maybe I didn't. Anyway, one thing that I was going to say is if you're packing foods for your kids for their lunches, um, 
even like simple things like yogurt, open them up. Unless your kids are really good at opening yogurt on their own, yogurt is messy to open regardless. I mean, even for, well, I was going to say even for me, but we all know I'm kind of a mess anyway. Um, but open them up. So like for instance, this, I couldn't send this into Bella like this, open, like it's going to make a mess. But if like you get a, a Benko box, for instance, you can put the food into there and then it will close and I'll be sealed. I guess my whole point is don't send a Go-Gurt not knowing whether or not, you know, if your kid is always coming up to you and saying, can you open my Go-Gurt for me? Don't send that to them. Point being is they're going to have to ask somebody to open it for them, especially right now. Just have the least amount of people touching your child's food possible. So open them up, pour them in like how I do on practically all of Bella's lunches. I packed her applesauce, I open it, I pour it in. I pack her yogurt, I open it and pour it in because I know it would be difficult for Bella to open it. That's why I did it, you know, in the past when she was going to school. Now I'm just doing it because that's what we're used to. But I just, I highly suggest you do the same, okay? That's all I was going to say. But here's her lunch. She's getting a cottage cheese with a dill reed. Some, a few of you have said that you've tried this and it's so good. I tell you guys, of course it's good. I'm not going to show you gross food. Sometimes maybe I do, but maybe you think it's gross until you try it. So just try it because some of your food, we did a, t hey, let's do it again. Okay. I'm like all over the place right now, but, um, She's getting cantaloupe and then her pizza bagel, which is pepperoni, uh, pizza sauce, cheese on a everything bagel. So here's the thing. I tried some of your guys' snack ideas and I thought they were going to be disgusting. And Bella found out she loves potato chips with ketchup. And I don't know what I found out. I don't know. I feel like I liked all of them. Anyway, I'm not hard to please. Um, let's do it again. Uh, I don't know if we're going to do it for a live video or what, but comment below your favorite snacks and maybe we'll try some of your favorite snacks. So do it. Do it down below. You know, just simple things. And if I don't have it in my cupboard, I can definitely run to the grocery store and pick it up. But things like just easy potato chips and ketchup, for instance. Don't give me like really hard ones, okay? Uh, or things that I can't find in America. Anyway, okay, let's see what she eats. All right, Bella, how'd you do? I really, really like that pizza bagel. Yeah, it's fun to eat it different, isn't it? Yeah. Like, I like eating at home more than I like eating at school. <laughs> I think a lot of people do. <laughs> All right, good job, Bella. Thanks. Today, Bella is getting a wrap, because it's a wrap in the lunches <laughs> for the week. Um, I'm going to start watching Big Brother tonight. Does anybody else watch that show? I mean, should we, like, talk about it? <laughs> Didn't we talk about The Bachelor one time? Ugh, it's basically just because those girls drive me crazy. I'm going to start watching Big Brother. I have not watched for a few years. So, this season, I don't know, like, I don't have any favorites yet because I probably don't know a lot of the... The cast that's going to be on there but I want to know if you're watching it who who should I be aware of like give me warnings on people uh anyway that's all I was going to say about that okay so we're going to make her a uh, wrap with turkey and swiss cheese here's my swiss I'm going to break it in half I think what do you think so like yeah I thought because that would have been probably too much swiss Okay, and then we got our juicy turkey. Now, this is turkey that, remember, I bought it from Costco, and I was wondering if you could freeze it, and you guys all told me yes. So, this is my first time using the thawed turkey that had been in my freezer for a while. Oh, and then I was going to add, hold on. Okay, then I was going to add this avocado. I started to slice into it, and then I stopped. Here it is. I wanted to slice it open with you because I feel like it's going to be past its prime, but we're going to find out. So I just thought it'd be fun to find out together. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm like, oh, I'm going to wait and I'm going to do it with them. <laughs> oh no. And it's bad. Darn it. How did I let that happen? Well, this is going to be boring. What else can I put on it? I don't even have a tomato. We ate all of our tornadoes. Tomatoes. So I guess this is just going to be 
a turkey and Swiss. I was going to do turkey, avocado. I had bacon where I could have added bacon to it. I don't have any lettuce. You guys, did I tell you that I ate that lettuce that was not good? Like it had been recalled? I ate it and I got really sick from it. I think I might have mentioned it. I don't know. But ever since then, it's really hard for me to eat it. I've tried buying lettuce a couple times and I can't eat it. It's seriously kind of like a problem in my life because I was on a lettuce kick. I was eating salads every single day, multiple times a day. This is my boring wrap. I'm so sad. I thought I was going to like end the week in like a bang and I was going to put a tomato on it, which I knew prior to starting with you guys that my tomatoes were gone. <laughs> they don't last long. And we've been gifted so many tor tornadoes. Oh my gosh. Oh, don't jinx it. I don't want another tornado. Um, tomatoes from my dad and brother's garden. All right, so I'm gonna add some key lime yogurt in here using the largest spoon I could possibly find because that makes sense. You're gonna take a pepperoni and put a little bit of cream cheese on it. Try not to get it on yourself. Fold it in half. I think this was a snack idea from one of you guys. So thank you. We're just gonna do a few of these. They don't have to look pretty. Then in the blue spot, I'm gonna pack her some blue berries. Here's her lunch. <laughs> She's going to get turkey, Swiss, cream cheese, tortilla roll-up, boring roll-ups, boring. Uh, but actually, you know, probably there's a lot of kids out there that would think this is very delicious and enough flavor. So there you go. I'm not going to knock them anymore. Sorry, guys. You're great. Some blueberries, pepperoni. I was going to call it pineapple. What's up with me? Was I going to call something the other day a pine cone? No. Pineapple? No. Whatever. A cactus. Right? Anyway. Pepperoni and cream cheese. Little snack things. That was, uh, I'm almost positive one of you told me to do that. So anyway, if it was you, comment down below. Blueberries, I would say that. And then yogurt, key lime pie. So here is her lunch. We'll see what she eats. All right, Bella. How'd How you do? do? Got those stuck there. Very good job. Holy smokes, you ate everything. I was hungry. I wasn't paying any attention. I was working, but good job, Bella. The, um, the wall-ups? Yeah. That was so good. Were they a little boring or were they good? Boring? Who said anything about boring? <laughs> I thought they were way cute and they were way fun. That's it for the lunches this week. I'm going to go and start Big Brother later tonight. <laughs> and if you watch Big Brother, let me know who your favorite is so far. I have to get caught up because I have not watched a single episode. And I think it started a few weeks ago. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not already. Comment, hit that notification bell, and leave a thumbs up. Bye. Bye, guys.